question 11, Robert from Lincoln, Nebraska. He asks, why do you now have a quarter inch vent hole in the tank to pump check valve? If the tank to pump valve is closed, it has nowhere to go. Doesn't the temp protection valve do the same thing? Can we spec a check valve with no hole? Uh, that uh, vent basically, I think it's about an eighth of an inch hole that's drilled into it typically, but basically that hole is there if you're operating off your tank and you're flowing hand lines and you shut the hand lines down. Water has been coming in from the tank through the tank to pump valve, pushing the check valve open, dropping into the, into the pump. The check valve is there so that if you charge from a hydrant, basically, uh, and you don't shut your tank to pump valve, the check valve will close to seal off so you don't overpressurize or push a lot of water up into your tank, possibly damaging your tank. What the hole is for is if you're operating off the tank, water's coming into your pump, you're discharging it, and you shut down your discharges, the check valve will close because there's no more water coming in from your tank. And now you just created a sealed vessel, right? And there's no place for the pressure inside the pump to expand to. So as you start to overheat the pump, you basically, and you're right, as far as an overheat protection manager would probably go off and blow that out of there. But if you don't have one, that's what the hole in the check valve is for. It allows the pressure inside the pump to feed back up into your tank. And you also are correct, if you shut your tank to pump valve, obviously that hole in the check valve won't help you. Uh, but as far as the check valve and having a hole in it, all of our check valves do come with that hole. It's used to be mandatory by NFPA. They did change it or put it into the annex in the back, just stating what that check, that hole in the check valve is for. Uh, but it's a, it's a safety issue, basically. Uh, that's, why, that's why it's there. It's one thing to keep in mind, though, with the, with the uh, operators, because occasionally we'll, we will get the question, hey, my tank fill is closed my pump cooling line is closed and my tank continues to overflow so a lot of times uh, they may look at their their tank fill valve uh, possibly having a leak um, you got to remember even at an eighth inch hole at 150 psi that's uh, allowing 10 10 gpm roughly to go back into the tank so uh, it will overfill the tank um, which can be a problem up in our northern climates where it freezes up by where the pump operator stands but uh, um, it, it is a place that it's going to continue to backfill, especially if you have your, your uh, tank to pump valve open. Now, typically, uh, I instruct operators on my own department to, to leave that tank fill or tank to pump valve open uh, because if your hydrant pressure was to drop or you lose that hydrant pressure, it would automatically start taking it from the tank. So. I think one more, one more point to make, and, and uh, he didn't actually ask this, but. Uh, it's important to, to understand too that the hole that's in that check valve does not act as a pump cooler. And I know that wasn't your question, but uh, it's there, as Jay mentioned, just to relieve pressure because as water heats up, if you're deadheading the pump, the water starts to heat up like anything else that expands and you have to give it a place to go. And that hole in the check valve is where it goes. Uh, not much water flows through that check valve under that, those circumstances. Very little water actually flows through there, but it, it creates an opening so that the pump doesn't overpressurize. <clears throat> we have done some tests and uh, we, we uh, without that check valve in place and the water that's expanding in there as it gets hot, and especially if it starts to boil and converts to steam, uh, we'll find an opening. It'll make an opening. It'll blow the packing out of the pump. It'll blow the mechanical seal out of the pump. Uh, it may blow that nice six inch chrome cap off of the suction. Uh, it's, it's a force that needs to be dealt with. So that's why the hole is there, but it does not serve to cool the pump. Even with that hole there, the water inside the pump can, can boil. So that's why it's important to also have an overheat protection device on there as well. All right, way to share. Everybody got a part of that question.